All right, I just got back from Goodwill and I got 14 shirts. 14. Let me show you some of these shirts. I just did a little experiment to see how much money we potentially saved here by going to Goodwill, all right? J. Crew, right? Pronto Womo, which is the like men's warehouse brand name. Joseph A. Bank, another local um, suit outfitter where they sell shirts. Tommy Hilfinger, Two Chaps by Ralph Lauren, of course. American Eagle Outfitters, I got three of those. There's an Izod in there. There's a uh, Banana Republic shirt. And then there's three other odd ones that names I don't really uh, know much about. And uh, so let's say I went online and I was looking at full price. I was using Amazon. I was using the different suppliers' websites. So two chap shirts, I found those at like $25 each. Of course, brand new. Now these shirts are used. Uh, but, but I looked over them. There's no holes in any of them. There's no stains. There's no sweat stains, anything like that, of course. You know, the ick factor that somebody else wore these potentially is going to be a thing. But, you know, I mean, wash them. <laughs> wash them twice. Wash them with, like, you know, safe, color-safe bleach. But, um, you know, once you can get over that fa that ick factor, which I always had that. You know, I would go to, like, Kohl's and I would get shirts for, like, five bucks. And I'd, and that was great. But anyway, let's let's just go through this. So, chaps. Um, I found online for $25 each. So let's say that's like 50 bucks, right? And then Hillfinger I found for 27. Um, uh, I have three of these American Eagle shirts on their website. They're $31 each. Banana Republic 63 was their cheapest shirt on their website. Ridiculous. IZOD, um, $25 at any of the outlets. I think it was Kohl's. Joseph A. Bank on their uh, website, 20. Pronto Omo, which is also the men's warehouse, is, is, you know, 20 bucks for that. J. Crew wants 80 bucks for a shirt. And then three others, I didn't even, like, uh, put a price down for that. Now, let's say, now those are, the like, the full prices. But let's say um, you find them on sale. I mean, you could find Chaps on sale for 20 bucks each, right? You could find Hill Finger on sale for probably... You know, twenty dollars for a shirt. American Eagles twenty dollars a shirt. I multiplied that by three. Uh, this would have been ninety three over here. And then um, Banana Republic figure. You know, they go. You you get a sale thirty percent. Say thirty. You know, half price sale thirty bucks. Izod's. Um, you know, they're they're they retain their price. I don't know why I put twenty five there. Let's, let's say that you get it on sale for like fifteen, maybe. Joseph Bay Bank. Maybe you get a. You know, buy one, get one free. Maybe get a buy one, get one half off uh, at this one. J. Crew, maybe get a 50% sale. So here, let's say um, full price. We're talking 100, uh, 200, 370, around $370 for 14 shirts. I didn't even include a price for these guys. We'll just throw those in the bag. And then let's say, so let's round it up. Let's just say $400 for 14 shirts. Uh, full price. That's full retail. Now, nobody's buying things at full retail, right? So here's the actual, here's here's like a, a reasonable sale price, right? So figure 150, uh, 165, 75, 80, 90, uh, 230. So 230 for 14 shirts. That's a pretty good price, I think. I think that's really good. Now, me being like a frugal uh, cheapskate, um, and, uh, and a, uh, extreme, um, couponer I was at one time, uh, I wouldn't pay that much. I wouldn't even pay this much for, uh, those shirts, not in bulk. Certainly maybe an individually I'd buy one. Uh, so I would probably wait till Kohl's had them on their clearance, uh, sale. And so you'd probably find these at like about $10 a shirt. So go like 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 105. We'll say these last three or five. So 105 for 14 shirts, right? That's a pretty good price, 105. So you're under like $10 a shirt at uh, 14 shirts for $105. You know how much these cost me at Goodwill? They were 99 cents a piece. $14. That was it. That's how much it cost. Well, actually, I rounded up because, you know, you can round up your change and donate it to 
for $14 for all of these high quality, well, all but three probably high quality shirts. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So that was my thrift store haul. Share your thrift store haul with me. Love to hear about it. Have a great day. Smash like, take those savings, and go have a great time and see if you can do something for somebody today and help them without getting caught. Take care.